Hey, it's, I know it's been a while since I did a video, um, but I want to just jump back into um, about caregiving, um, about what it's like and the type of emotions that you go through being a caregiver. So uh, first with uh, being a caregiver or uh, caring for someone that's ill, as far as like you having to take care of your mental health. Um, and also I want to talk about suicide, which is, you know, which is your mental health. So with me caring for my father who was independent, then he broke his hip. Then I ultimately had to, you know, care for him while going to work, while continuing my, uh, daily life. It, uh, weighed on my mental, you know, my mind heavy because I just didn't know what to do you know, to help him. Um, seems like the things that I was doing to help him, even as far as going to the doctor, he wasn't getting any better. That's because he was uh, sicker than we both knew. But um, mentally, it was draining. And um, also, I, I thought about just, I did think about suicide, actually, because I felt like I could, I couldn't help, I, I well, I couldn't help me, so I couldn't help him, and I felt like the easiest thing to do would be to end it, because that would be, it wouldn't be so much pressure on me, because, you know, I'm responsible for somebody else's life, so if I was no longer here, um, I wouldn't have to, I guess, deal with it, not trying to be in a selfish way, but just being in a way of not understanding because it was like a real lot to deal with um, since I've never done anything like that before. But of course, uh, that changed because then I thought that if I leave, he wouldn't have anybody at all um, mm -hmm. to take care of him at all. So that's... Uh, you know, it wasn't like I was, you know, it was just on my mind. It wasn't like I was actively trying to do, but it did like weigh on my mind. You know, when you um, are alone, a lot of things just cross your mind. Um, and sometimes they say that you, you kind of lose control of your mind a little bit if you do think about suicide. Um, so that's, that's what I can say. What I can say is to, with all this is to just, Try to keep your mind as strong as you can by far as listening to and being around and reading positive things like, you know, the Bible, positive affirmations or being around people that's positive that can help lift your spirits. If not, your spirits get real low because you see the person that's sick and they're, you know, and you know, what I know I felt like it was nothing that I could do to help them alive. So... Maybe they would be better if I was just not, you know, just not here. And so that was like, because it was just, it was just hard on me. It was like just me by myself and just in my thoughts. And it was just a lot in my mind, um, just weighing like very for a long period of time, it was very heavy on my mind. And, um, what I do regret is I do regret sharing it with my father that I thought that I didn't want to be here because it was just, everything was so overwhelming. If I could take anything back, I wish I could do that, but I don't, you know, of course I can't. It was just um, such an emotional time for me. Um, of course I went back to, um, you know, to speak, you know, speak to him, of course, and just told him my, you know, I do apologize for what I was, um, what I said and what I was thinking. Um, because, you know, God made me stronger, you know, that I could handle certain, that I could handle certain things, um, that being one of them. So what I could say, if you're able to, uh, seek some kind of, um, mental health counseling, um, very important to, to do that because like I said, that's what something that I dealt with a little bit, uh, and then having a good support system or uh, 
you know, um, somebody who understands you, who cares about you and the person and make it, you know, help you, you know, in some kind of way. And then also, you know, just listening to, uh, then also just being around a person, being around people and listening to them and what they're speaking of and just knowing that there will be something, you know, greater, um, and just looking at that you need, you know, that you are important, you know, you are vital to this world and, you know, that you wouldn't be created if you didn't have, um, if you didn't have a reason to be here. But that is something that I did struggle with, um, thoughts of suicide because it was just so overwhelming, um, just so overwhelming to, to, to deal with you know, to deal with everything, like everything was hitting me at one time as far as, you know, just not even just, just, just issues with transportation, just little things, just, you know, one thing would get just, just everything was just a build up, and it was just only me and it was nothing, you know, I, I didn't know, I wasn't aware of how to, um, you know, to relieve my mind of certain things and just, you know, um, I just didn't know what to do. So it was a lot of confusion in my mind, uh, if I can say that, but I just thank God that I prayed and that I, you know, looked at my dad and I knew that if it, you know, if he didn't have me, you know, of course, God, if he didn't have me here, then he wouldn't get any help. And so that was, that made me think about things a little differently, but, um, so just, just staying surrounded with positive people, positive energy, just, you know, and just knowing that what you can do, do, and what you can't, you just can't do. That was my biggest struggle with things. I was trying to do everything. And then there were some things I just couldn't do. And just understand that there are some things that I, you just, you just cannot do. Um, so it is kind of short, but that was just like, you know, uh, just try to, if you can, like do take control of your mind and don't let your mind just wander. And also I thought was good for me was spending time alone by myself. Um, not a good idea. In my personal opinion, just not all the time. I know you need time by yourself, but not all the time. Like I thought I just, you know. Nobody understands. So I just be by myself. At least I, you know, understand me. Uh, you know, I, you know, it's just hard explaining. It's just hard, you know. But I do believe that you need at least, you know, some time. I'm not just saying even just discussing, but just time out, going for a walk, going to the mall, just being around in the area where it's a lot of people, or you know, um, at least being in the presence of other people. Um, is what I, you know, is what I can suggest that you do. Um, especially being around children because, and then, you know, if you know any children, because, you know, kids are, you know, they like laughter. Um, they're fun, you know, they're loving, they're sweet, you know, so it's like that, you know, being around, um, um, people, you know, people and especially kids, that's what really helped me. So, uh, it's, like I said, it's kind of short tonight, but I just want to touch bases because it's been, uh, I think it's about a week and a half or so. Um, but if there's anything else that I can talk about, drop down in the comments and let me know. Thanks.